Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. As we move throughout this month of May, we're getting not only closer to the beginning of the marketing plan of the Ahsoka Tano series, which, by the way, is going to begin next month in June with a handful of images for the Ahsoka series that will be debuting for the fans in preparation for that final trailer to debut in early July, ahead of its August release window. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. And without wasting too much time, let's get right into all of this. Now, we know that Dave Filoni has expressed this before in the past, that the Ahsoka series is basically his dream come true. He is one to do this for pretty much his entire life, to really kind of expand the animated material into a live action material. Basically a lot of elements that you know and love from the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels is going to be adapted into live action. That's exactly why we're getting a lot of core characters like Thrawn, Ezra, Harrison Dula, and even Sabine Wren in live action form. That's four characters alone right there that are going to be entering into the live action universe. Now what's great about this too is what Dave Filoni had to say about the overall franchise and why he's warning fans that what they are about to do may very well divide the fandom but what he views in a very different way that's going to be very unique. So let's go into exactly what that really means about what Dave Filoni had to say about everything related to what's next for Star Wars. So, right now both John and Dave are beginning to start the transition of including tons of Legends content into the Star Wars franchise for live action purposes. However, recently Dave Filoni unveiled something that he revealed would divide the fandom in one of their upcoming projects. Filoni went on to state the following to the entire community. Well, you see, to me, Star Wars is always about carefully experimenting with ways of storytelling. We did this in Clone Wars, and we did this in Rebels. But how do we cross that bridge of making those risks and jumps in live action? With one of our upcoming projects that shall remain nameless so I can keep the surprises at bay, we will be dealing with a very valuable tool that is going to create time-bending scenarios to give us the opportunity to explore all the Legends lore that we want to in future shows without having any kind of roadblocks with the sequel lore in the way. This is something that I'm sure will create a divide in the fandom and hopefully in a healthy way rather than, than a negative or toxic way where fans can just have a simple difference with each other and their opinions on the decision that we are actually coming up with. Now, before I get to the next thing about what Dave says here is that I think what he's alluding to, without a doubt, is what we have been talking about for a while now, is how the Ahsoka series is going to deal with the WBW, the world between worlds. Now, mind you, the Ahsoka series, it's going to deal with it on a more minimal scale. Ahsoka Season 2 is so they go all out with the world between worlds and really kind of bending the rules with that. Now, basically, the Ahsoka series is all about introducing this realm in live action to really boost the familiarity for fans to recognize what this is if they have not watched Rebels. As you all know, the WBW only appeared in Rebels, where Ezra literally saves Ahsoka Tano from the hands of Darth Vader. For all we know, if Ezra Bridger did not save her, she could have very well met her demise right then and there. But what's interesting about this is what Dave Filoni says, is how these time-bending scenarios that will happen in this valuable tool that he calls, which, by the way, I believe translates to the world between worlds, he just won't say it, and so he says that he believes that this is going to divide the fandom, but in a very different way that he believes will be healthy. What does that necessarily mean? Well, that could mean that it is going to be a type of divide where fans can just agree or disagree on what they are about to do. I don't believe that what Dave Filoni is doing here is hinting that it's going to be like another Last Jedi situation, but it is going to be a divide in a sense where... Fans are going to either, you know, kind of really be jumping up and down in excitement about this, or some fans are going to be a little skeptical about what just happened. I don't think it's necessarily going to cause backlash or anything like that, but Dave goes on to continue to elaborate, and we're going to be talking about that right now. So, the thing about this, too, that I think fans need to realize is that what Dave Filoni says next is that he, say, he states, 
What I will say is that we are taking some something big from Rebels and throwing that into live action, so we can create those time-bending events. It may be something that many fans feel can only be done in animated, or what they call cartoons, but I feel that we need to at least try and take the risk to do the things that we want to using that great tool that will change the course of history to an extent in the Skywalker saga and the entire timeline of the franchise. We ran this over with George to make sure and he loved our goals, so I feel a little bit more relaxed now and reassured. But this will certainly create some level of fan division at first, but I can almost be certain that it will grow on fans later on as it evolves and blossoms. Now again, what he's absolutely referring to is the world between worlds, which by the way is a very complex realm that has a lot of unwritten rules, and basically Dave Filoni, what he's doing with the first and second season of Ahsoka, it's about exploring those rules, those barriers, what you can and cannot do in the world between worlds. Now we've gone over some of the leaks, and we talked about one of them specifically of how it will involve a very popular prequel trilogy character. Maybe I'll talk about this at another time. I don't want to spoil anything just yet. But there are going to be a lot of callbacks, let's just say that, to past events in the Skywalker saga that will be revisited. And that's going to be all done through this realm. Now, we know that Dave Filoni is all about testing his limits or even testing the fan expectation limits and what they are going to accept or deny and kind of just learning from all of that. This is what I like about John and Dave, or at least Dave Filoni specifically, is that he really likes to adapt. He likes to see what fans are going to enjoy, what they're not going to enjoy, and takes it from there. Unlike other creators out there like Ryan Johnson, where he really did his thing with The Last Jedi and said he doesn't, he doesn't care if fans love it or hate it, he's just proud of what he did with Luke, and there's no exception. He feels that what he did with Luke is the best thing in the world, and there is no question about that. And I just feel that is a little overconfident, a little too self-absorbed. Uh, sure, you know, I get it. You're a writer. You want to create your own vision. That's fine. And maybe it's not up, up to everybody to dictate what a creator can do. I understand that side of the story as well. But look, what Ryan Johnson did with Luke was very much a thing with no direction. A thing that was very much, in my opinion, self-absorbed. It was, and I think at the end of the day, he should have just respected the character flat out right from the get-go. But uh, moving on to the point here is that Dave Filoni is really warning the fans that what they are about to establish in Ahsoka and Ahsoka Season 2, it may very well divide the fandom in a very different way that fans would have never expected. So again, I think that what Dave Filoni is saying is that it's going to divide the fans, but not in that toxic negative sense, but in more of a way of, I agree with that or I disagree with that. You know, kind of just like a nice healthy divide. So anyways guys, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this below. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>